want to use this video to talk about making lofts with rails. Rails are one of the better methods of doing lofts if you have irregular shapes such as this one. I'm also going to show you an easy way to make a rail so it attaches to each profile. First thing I'm going to do is make a solid loft between this point up through the three sections without using rails. So I'm going to go to loft and I'll pick on the point to start with and my three profiles and say OK. Simple to do but you'll see in a second it's not real accurate. To make it show up better I'm going to make this body a different appearance. I'm going to make it a red metallic paint and now I'm going to turn it off and we'll do it another method using rails. Turn on my sketches. So one of the biggest problems in making rails is they must touch every profile and getting those points of touching is sometimes hard to do. Here's an easy method. I'm going to do two planes. You can make origin planes or any plane you want. I'm going to do a new sketch on this and then I'm going to do a project intersect between that work plane, my sketch work plane, which I clicked on, and each profile. Pretty obvious on the circles and the ellipse, but not the irregular shape. Once you've done this, you have points you can connect your sweep to, excuse me, your spline to very easily. So picking on this point, you easily snap to these points to get it to attach accurately. Now I'm going to pick on the top handle and make it vertical just to control that. And I'll start with another spline. Start at the bottom and go through the points. Again, making it very easy to line up your points. Again, I want to make this one vertical. So there we have two of the rails. I'm going to make another sketch on this plane and do the exact same procedure. First of all, do an intersect projection between each profile and the plane. Again, pretty easy on the circle but not as easy on the irregular shape. Draw your spline. Same as we did before between these points. make the handle at the top vertical. Again pick my spline and go between the points. As you can see this method makes it very easy to connect your profiles with your rail. Okay now that we've got that we're going to stop the sketch and we're going to go ahead and make we'll make this a surface rather than a solid to compare so I go to patch and I'll do a loft and I'm going to be using rails but the first thing I just pick my profiles again my point and my three profiles try again I think I missed one let's get rid of that one and go to this one I think I picked one twice now I'll go down to my rails pick hit my plus pick on the second rail hit my plus pick on the third. Notice it labels them for us which is very convenient. And my last one. I'm making a new body. It would be a surface. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and make that that body which is a surface a different appearance to compare. Let's make it a, a bright green. Now I'll go back and turn off all the sketches and turn back on the other body take a look they don't match and the green one which was the last one to do with rails is much more accurate let's compare let's turn on our sketches again and turn on our rails okay let's turn off the green one no the red one doesn't match up with a rail so again the shape is not very accurate and the rail switch it is very accurate it makes the shape more to real life so that's the advantage of rails and an easy way to make rails attached to your profiles. Thank you.